Hey what's going on guys, Chris here, welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video and the Iki Island expansion adds a ton of new reskins and dives for existing armors and also a cool few new ones that look pretty interesting including the God of War one that can be acquired from a secret shine over the map. So in this video we're gonna cover all of these armors, all of the reskins and pretty much everything in between, hopefully we're gonna catch all of them so let's jump right into it. By the way today's video has been brought to you thanks to Instant Gaming, they sell games at some of the cheapest prices you can find around so if you really enjoy big gaming discounts definitely go ahead and check out their website by using my links down below and you would also help the channel up in the process but starting things off we already talked about the crimson dive vendor in yesterday's video that you find on this side of the map and you get to unlock him after finishing the hidden cove sparring tournament in funes refuge but it already unlocks a couple of really awesome reskins and recolors and mostly for the sakai clan armor the first one is called the endless Wrath. This is a red and black recolor that, in my opinion, looks, well, probably the best for this specific outfit. Mainly because it's super vibrant but also very clean. So, if you enjoy the playstyle with this armor set, probably this is gonna be one of the best skins for it. Now, if you want something a little bit more unique, then I recommend the Raw Courage for the same armor set, but this time around, this is a reskin. So, what this does is it mainly covers the main armor with the new shirt and the pants but underneath you still have the same Sakai clan chest and bottom piece. If you play the story and pay attention to the lore, it's going to make a lot of sense why Jin is covering the Sakai clan armor and even at the start of the Iki Island expansion, you're not going to be able to play with it. By the way, the Rogue Courage is in the same style as the Unburdened Heart, which is essentially the yellow version of it and the one that you get from just finishing the main campaign on Iki. Everything from this point on was already covered in yesterday's video Video, including that Crimson Victory die for the Sarugami armor, the new armor set added in the Iki Island expansion which, as I've said yesterday, works really well with the Undying Rage sword kit that you also get for free from this same vendor right here after you have finished the tournament. But let's jump into the new secret armor sets and especially so in the Iki Island expansion you can find several shrines that involve you solving a riddle but each one will give you an armor set that that is also an easter egg to several other PlayStation games including God of War, Shadow of the Colossus and also Bloodborne. But we're gonna start things off with the God of War skin, it's the earliest you can find of all of the skins by the way and it's actually acquired from the Shrine of Ash on this side of the map right here. You will have to complete the puzzle here but you also get this really awesome like easter egg right next to it so you're gonna see this tree with the handprint on it and also with of course the next to it. I'm pretty sure that this is a nod both to God of War as well as to Death Stranding but I might be wrong on that one. Now the solution to this shrine is pretty simple, just equip the Sakai clan armor and then unsheathe your weapon as you look to the handprint on the tree which is done by swiping right on the controller pad. Once you complete that it's gonna give you the helmet of war headpiece, the spartan mask as well as the ghost of Sparta skin for the Sakai armor, which looks all around amazing, especially with that red God of War logo on the side that makes it really pop compared to the white color background, but at the same time, it also comes in with those really nice chains on both of the arms, reminiscent to, yeah, Kratos chain blades that he would use in the games. Uh, by the way, this is the same one that you can also get, or well, you could get in the Legends mode a while ago, including a couple of weeks ago, but I think that event is now over, so you might want to wait for it in the legends mode all in all really enjoying the god of war skin and i'm glad that they are bringing back some of the legend skin or recolors in the single player campaign as well now the next one is called the yarnum skin this is a bloodborne easter egg and you acquire this from solving the bloodstained shrine riddle in the western part of the Iki island the solution here is to equip the kensi armor and to perform a heal which you can do by just using the arrow down button on the d-pad now if you are at max hp you can and just jump from one of these higher points to try to get some fall damage and then heal right in front of the shrine. Just be careful not to die because you can definitely do so, so at least make sure you have enough resolve to resurrect yourself in case that happens. But completing that puzzle will give you the new Yarnum helmet and the Yarnum vestment skin 
for the Kensei armor. And the recolor is really awesome. Again, it's brought from the Legends mode and it's also one of the darkest versions for the Kensei. I really like this style by the way and if you also enjoy the Kensei, which I used extensively on Iki and it's also one of the best, well, builds on Lethal, yeah, this might be something that you will want to rock with. The final easter egg skin is going to be the Colossus one for the Ghost Armor and you acquire this from solving the shrine in the Shadow Riddle in south of Iki right here on this side of the map. This is also one of the easiest, just make sure you have smoke bombs at you because you will have to equip the ghost armor next to the shrine and then immediately do a smoke bomb. And once you do that and if the riddle is completed, you're going to get the mask of the colossus and the armor of the colossus skin as a reward for your ghost outfit, which looks something like this. Again, one of the most unique armors for the ghost outfit in the game. It's again imported from that legends mode that we got a while ago and I really enjoy it, especially the green outlines look really awesome with this one. The only thing that I wonder still is weren't we supposed to also get kind of like a Horizon Zero Dawn reskin for the Talayori armor because we got it in the Legends mode but I'm not sure anybody got it in the Inky Island expansion. I think it should have been there. Probably it is there but nobody found it yet. So if you manage to find this reskin right here for the Tadayori that exists in the Legends mode, if you found it on Inky, let me know down below so I can cover it in a different video or at least update this one and its description. Now this brings us to the final piece on the list, we also have another skin but this time around for the Traveler's attire and I think next to the God of War one it's probably my favorite, it's called the Raiders Regalia New Traveler Attire and it looks something like this. Now you can buy this from the merchant in the Fort Sakai after you reach a little bit later in the main story campaign, you also kind of have to liberate that fort and once you liberate that fort it's going to open up a new vendor that will sell you this pirate outfit well kind of pirate not so sure if it's full-on pirate but it definitely seems so and it also seems to fit super well with the eagle helmet that you get from finishing the main Aki campaign i'm pretty sure that both of these were pretty much made for each other from the color scheme to the way it looks it just looks spectacular i also coupled it with the wooden sword that you get as a reward from the hidden cove sparring tournament a while ago so you can just make this look like super unique and a different kind of playstyle for your character if that's what you want to. Of course, these are not the only skins in the game. There's a few more on top at the vendors that I already talked about. Even at this one right here, you're gonna find a number of um, other outfits and new elements as well in there for your outfits. And otherwise, the only one that I think I did not cover specifically in this video is the Wind Kami Breath for again the Sarugami armor. You can also buy it from this vendor again and he also sells it there as well but in yesterday's video I talked about the fact that you can also buy it from the vendor that you find in this refugee camp right next to the Zasho base so you can kind of buy it I believe from both of them once you unlock them. This is it though with the secret outfits there's many more in there that you can find by the way not just from the vendors also by completing puzzles um, doing some of these like haikus on the map and also like uncovering other types of shrines will also give you some other skins but obviously that will involve exploration. This is it for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.